I'm Stuart Ward and this is my um, tutorial video for the goblet squat. The goblet squat is the second exercise which I use in my foundation kettlebell plan and it's the next one on from the deadlift. So with a deadlift we're learning the hip hinge and the squat carries on from that but it adds a more of a knee bend into it. So you're going to be dropping lower with the squat. So often the deadlift you think of it as a, an exercise for the back of the the muscles, the posterior chain, where the squat, because of the extra knee bend, it becomes more of an anterior chain movement. You'll be working the front of your thighs a lot more. I like to think that the, the deadlift is a movement where you really want to get stronger to build strength through your body, but the squat is one where, yes, it's great to get stronger, but you want to improve flexibility. We've all seen children, and certainly people in um, Asian countries in particular, can squat very low because they don't sit down in chairs as much as we do. Um, it, it ruins our health when you're sitting down it puts so much compression on your digestive sy system on your midsection when you have bad posture from sitting too much it's not good for the mood just think about when you smile if you force yourself to smile it puts you in a better mood you feel better when you walk around with a frown it puts you in a down mood and it's very much the same with posture when you're walking around like this all the time you've seen people like it they're not it's hard to be in a, a, a happy confident vibrant mood when you open the body out and you breathe and you stand upright you feel more confident you feel more energetic a squat is going to help with so many things like this before you start to squat with weight you want to be doing the prying squat and it teaches a lot about how your body moves as well so what I would tend to do is um, interlace the fingers together hinge at the hips and bend the knees and just get the elbows inside the knees and what you're trying to do is find a position where you can squat as low as you can with a straight spine and feel comfortable. Everyone's foot position with a squat is going to be slightly different depending on how their hips are set. You can't say exactly stand this way, but I would generally around about shoulder width apart. So you'd fall into your squat, have a little shuffle around, see where you feel comfortable, and often that's a good squat position. Okay? Um, what you don't want to do with the squat, and the first time people squat, is this is what I see every time, they'll do this. Go into the knees. That's a different exercise. It's not a video where I'm going to talk about whether the uh, more sort of Hindu style squat is good or not. For what we're doing here, that's not right. It's going to be a power leakage going out there, and you're not going to be using the muscles I intend you to use. So think hip hinge first. Stick your bum out, then allow the knees to bend. The other thing I often see with a squat is heels coming up off the floor. So what you don't want to do is sink low but let the heels come up. That's cheating. That's uh, again, it's a, a different movement pattern. So just squat as low as you can while keeping the heels on the floor. So once you've got the prying squat right, it's time to move to the goblet squat. So it's, you learn the pattern, you learn the movement, then you load it with some weight. The goblet squat is great because it gives you a balance point. This helps to balance you as you go low. And it will look like this. You're holding a kettlebell, both hands by the horns, close to your body, elbows tucked in. Take a breath in to prepare. Pull yourself into the squat, elbows inside knees if you can go that low. Squeeze the backside as you drive up tight to the top. Breath in and breath out. What you can do with a goblet squat, and where it's a good uh, movement to learn the squat well, is you can, when you fall into the squat, when you pull yourself down, it works as a, a stabiliser for you. So you can keep it close to your body, but if you just feel a little bit wobbly here, take it away, and it might help you stand up a bit straighter. It's something for you to play with. And the squat is no different from the deadlift, and most other exercises, where you want to use the breathing and the idea of tension to help your body work as a unit and to keep it strong. So I'll just remind you how that works again. We've taken hold of the weight, grip it tight, grip the backside, grip all the muscles that you can. Take a breath in, feel the compression around your midsection and lower down. Without losing that tension, breathe out and squeeze to drive back up. Hissing as you come back up. I use the word, I think, with 
pull yourself into the squat. And it's a really nice idea because it's not like you just relax and go loose when you go down there. Your posture will fall apart. So you're trying to keep yourself straight and strong. Stick your bottom out, do the hip hinge, and pull yourself down so you stay tight the whole time as you do your squat. It's really important so you don't let go of that tension and it keeps you strong throughout the movement, safe and robust. Okay, that's my um, squat tutorial video. If you have any comments, any questions, just leave it in the message section below and I'll try and get back to you with my thoughts. Many thanks.